Okay. Well, here we are. Maybe it's working now? I think I, you got it. It looks like it's working. Maybe. I don't know. I will look in just a moment. Ah, uh, Flowey. Hello. You know what? I wonder what happens if... Well, I think he isn't fooled by it, right? If you avoid the pellets the first time. Doesn't he say something yeah, like, Yeah, he just you know, kind of gives you gentle encouragement about, like, oh, no, no, you need to hit those. Yeah, but if you keep avoiding him, he's just like, ah, you you know what to expect, don't you? Something like that. Like, he gets... Yeah, I don't remember it... exactly, but yeah, I think it's something like that. Well, let's find out. Is it streaming, by the way, or no? Uh, hold on, I gotta reopen the tab. Yes, it is streaming. It looks like it's working, too. Shit, man. <laughs> Little white friendliness pellets. Get as many as you can. Hey, buddy, you missed them. <laughs> Let's try again, okay? <laughs> yeah, I a, think it's just gonna force it. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. Into the friendliness pellets. <laughs> And it gets demented right off the bat. Oof. God, that's scary shit. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. <laughs> Ugh, God, that's, God, that face is creepy. It's pixelated, and it's creepy as hell. Yeah, they did a really good job of, like, finding that face to be as, like, disturbing as possible. I keep saying they, but it was just one guy, wasn't it? Well, I know, um, like, the real-life Temi uh, did a little help to design a few of the characters. Hello, Goat Mom. But yeah, I think you're correct. I'm sorry. It's mostly him. So good to see her again when she's not dead. You and your careless killing people ruined so much good porn. <laughs> I miss this music. It is really good. Now, this is me having read spoilers, unfortunately, but at the end of this, when you're doing this pacifist, the, when you do Asriel's fight, um, can you not technically die against him, right? Uh, by the time you're fighting Azrael, you kind of can't die. Because yeah. your determination won't let you. Yeah, I think I mentioned that one to you earlier, or ruined that one for you. Oh, but maybe yeah, maybe it, you uh, did. <laughs> but it's, it has kind of a cool method to it. It's not quite, it's not entirely simple. How far behind are you? She just said, let's move to the next room. She just walked off screen. You just walked in the new room. Be a human living in the underground, etc., etc. Oh, hang on. I'll give you a better thing to go off. Okay, right now, I just talked to the dummy and entered the battle. Alright. Now. Okay, so like five seconds or so. Yeah, about that. You ran away. Truthfully, that was not a poor choice. It is better to avoid conflict than ever... Oh, was, was, I, was I supposed to talk to the dummy? Yeah, I think you're supposed to practice talking to it. Oh, I just... Well, I, I went... I, I spared and then fleed. You're Whatever. Going so, you're going so hardcore on the sparing that you spared him even before the fight began. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrified of Walked screwing right up. Walked right up and shouted... Just walked right up and showed. Well, you, you really can't like mess it up that bad. Just don't hit attack. That's yeah, well. Right. Plus, I can re I can reload. Yeah, just Alt F four if anything really bad happens. 
I mean, technically, couldn't I just flee from all the, the little guys, the, the little enemies like the froggets and all that stuff? I don't... Like, that would work as well, yep. right? There's no point in going through the trouble yes. of talking to them and mercying them. But fleeing isn't always an option. But, yeah, I guess it doesn't yeah, always you, work, does it? it counts. Hmm. I'm kind of, sort of, trying to, you know, speed through this first area. I can't blame you. At least until I get to, you know, her part. <laughs> hey, do you know if this, if, um, Killing 4-2 has, like, a, a training area? Uh, I don't think so, no. I think there may be, like, maps that you can download, though, like, in the workshop. Ah, probably. Like, there's one for Killing 4-1, it's just called the Test Map, and it's just a... It's a series of, like, hallways where you can spawn enemies in them, and it's it's really cool to, like, practice and stuff on. It's it's pretty... it's really neat. Yeah, I think you showed me that one. Uh, overly dramatic hallway walking music. Because she left me. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. God, this game is just so utterly damn depressing. And depressing in, like, the fact that it's just, it's, it's so emotionally, you know, devastating. Well, it's even better now that you've played the game once, because you now have, like, a memory of what all this shit actually means. Cinnamon or butterscotch? Well, butterscotch, of course. At this point, I kind of have to. You do not dislike cinnamon. Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Would you be that cruel to her? I actually like cinnamon more than I like butterscotch, personally. But, uh, hmm. you know. It's not. Yeah. I don't oftentimes find myself with butterscotch within reach. Cinnamon's more common. Cinnamon rolls, etc. Yeah. No, I follow you on that. Ah, dang it. All the way down, all the way up. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. I wonder, does it does it even technically count if I kill the little guys? I'm not going to, but like, does it does it actually matter if you kill them? Oh yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. God dang it. Yeah, you know the your level thing. Yeah. You have to be level zero at the end to get true pacifist, which means you did not did not earn experience or love from anything. Oh. Love, of course, being the weird like thing they define it as. Level, love. Yeah, level of violence uh, inflicted or something. Oh god, please be right. Damn it! <laughs> Fuck. It's all the way to the end. Okay, last time. Stupid leaves. Frisk's ankles broken from falling through grass so often. Uh, no, it was up this way. You know, in normal, the uh, the SWAT feels pretty good, but I'm sort of wondering how this weapon of his would hold up in higher difficulties. Well, uh, Ducky was playing as him last night, I think, and kicking some serious ass, but he was level 22. But I think the SWAT gets, um... It's mostly like you get SMGs and you get resistance against everything, I think. I, I think they have a grenade that, like, damage. stuns as well, which is really handy. That may be it, yeah. Ooh, they have an... Oh, they got a P90. I kind of want that. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. I forgot about the cheese. 
<laughs> it fills you with determination. Move it with force. No. Oh, wait. Do I have to move Naps to block by force, I guess? Yeah, I probably do. Okay. Wait. Maybe not. Well, I keep saying no. If I say no, it just doesn't do Moving anything. Moving it by force. Yeah, I think you'll probably have to. That'll, but I mean, that'll like... instigate the battle, but I can just... There yeah, you can just mercy out. Spare. Just plugging along. The game does try to trick you into doing stuff, but it won't force you, I don't think. Okay, I have to... I think I have to talk to him. Act. Check, flirt, cheer, threat. Cheer. You gave Naps the block a patient smile. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. God, this game is so weird sometimes. Very charming ways, though. And when you flirt with him, he just says, I just weigh you down. It's like, man, this, this, whole, this whole game is just emotional... Well, it reminds me a little of watching BoJack Horseman, which I just described to a friend as like almost a, like a faintly traumatic show to watch. Just because, I mean, you're basically watching somebody deal with like ungodly amounts of personal fucked up -edness. I call oh, it wow. Dapper Block. Do you like it? He cried himself a hat. <laughs> Oh gee, I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Spiders! Spider bake sale. All pro proceeds go to real spiders. I don't have any gold. I can't give them any. I can't buy any cookies. Unfortunately. Yeah, it does... Being a pacifist does limit your ability to buy stuff. Oh, well, I'm going to run out of ammo trying to kill these things. Are you on normal or hard? Normal. It's the I got two of the machines in one run, and they take a surprising amount of damage. Don't. Oh, it okay, fell down it again. Seems like, for the most part, I can... Oh, well, I shouldn't have done that. For the most part, I can flee from most of these guys here, which is convenient. So I don't, you don't have to, you know, bother with fighting them all. Uh, yeah, I think it was this one, maybe. Yes. Uh, I forget how you. Hey, do you remember the location of the mushrooms? The next room. Oh, you do? Oh, I thought there was like a, a thing that told you the color. Oh, you just have to try them Maybe all. Maybe so, I don't remember exactly. Nothing happened, nothing happened, so it's probably gonna be orange then, I guess. Nothing happened. Oh, okay, hang on, there's probably something I'm missing. Oh, they're already down. Whoops, okay. Uh, what's it say on the wall? If you can read this, press the blue switch. <laughs> okay. So you have to go back and press the blue one over here, I guess. Oh, shit. But it says nothing happened, but I'm gonna assume something did. The far door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. Oh. Okay, hang on, I think I'm... Yeah, do you remember like, where oh, the... Oh, so the... Were and, and, so, rooms? yeah, the blue one would be down here then, I guess. I think, I think, I, mean, I swear I didn't have this much trouble when I did this the last time. Ugh. So, it's on the side closest to the exit, I think. You noticed there was a blue switch behind the top. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, the game basically told me, finally, because I am struggling. 
<laughs> well, it wants you to have fun. Kind of. If you can read this, press Maybe. the red switch. Oh, shit. Okay, well... I spared him, but... He didn't care about that. I should have fleed. You can read this, press the green switch. I've got better to do. <laughs> what? It said that when I uh, when I exited the battle. I've got better to do. Better things to do? Or? Ah, fudge. Okay, that's alright. This green switch? Nothing happened. Okay. Hmm. Oh, here's a green switch. How did I miss this one? Ah, oh, there's a hole in the floor. Dang it. <laughs> I, I swear I don't remember having this much trouble the first time I went through this. It's an annoying little puzzle, actually. It's, it's definitely... Uh, okay, it, it's getting the better of me. Although it's... I remember the, uh, simple. I always thought it was kind of funny that on the Steam page for this game, like, some of the people he quoted were folks who said, like, you know, ah, oh, the puzzles aren't as clever as they thought he, should, he might have thought they were. Yeah. I'm not sure I like this gun as much as the other ones. Which one are you using? Uh, the Vector, basically. Oh. Yeah, it's actually not bad against, like, single targets. It fires really fast, so that's kind of nice. Oh, there's a knife over here. Well, I don't need that. I didn't. I don't. I don't. I'm not even sure I got that the first time I played. Just it's like a little hidden area. There's a knife up in it. Yeah, you don't need it, but it is useful if you're gonna play as like combat styling. Yeah. All right, time to go home. When you save the game, do you get full health? Yeah, you do. Okay. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterso butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. To say. The amount of snail pie jokes I have read online. A room of your own. I hope you like it. You know what's depressing is that, like, I almost wish that you could just end the game right here and just live a happy life with her in this house. You know? You technically can. I mean, you can just stop playing. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. But... But, I mean, that's sort of the, the fundamental thing of the entire game, though, is, you know, when are you okay stopping? Yeah... Like, you don't have to keep playing, it's... But, I mean, I can tell you this much. From, like, that point of view, I was glad to see that the game kind of rewards you for actually going through with it. If you do get to the end. I think you should play upstairs Although, instead. having a game beg me not to play it anymore was one of the strangest experiences I've had. It is dangerous to play here. Oh! This is a new boss. King Flesh Pound. It is drafty here, you will catch a cold. I don't think I did this the first time. I think I pestered her. I think... Hmm. What happens if I keep doing this? Maybe, okay, maybe nothing happens if I keep doing this. But I'm curious. There is nothing to see here. I'm going to keep doing it until I get a, a line that's been repeated. Do you want to read a book? Okay, I think... Maybe, maybe I just have to go to where she's at in the living room and talk to her. About leaving. I think so. Because this is... Oh. Okay. Never mind. What happened? I do not like the game you are playing. Why? What is she doing? She, like, she had a really stern expression. And she said, I do not like the game you're playing. And the next time she was just like, why not go for a walk in the yard? Really now. What was the... 
Well, what game were you playing, really? No, the game I was playing is that I just keep walking down that hallway over and over again. Oh. Yeah. I think you have to sort of engage, you know, the next sort of story element. But... That was kind of creepy, though. I don't, know, I don't know why. Up already, the I see. The game does have a lot of stuff, like, built into it that's meant to catch people who have played the game before, I think. When can I go home? This is your home. How to exit the ruins. She has to do something, stay here. And now I think I follow her, and she's like, already up there, maybe. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I have to do something. Now she's leaving to go close it up. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave here again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No! No, I have a game to play. Every human that falls so down close? here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, ask or we'll kill you. You know, she says that. Did, did he actually kill other children before me, or no? Yep. Is that is that what those coffins are? They actually do have children in them? Yep. Because I was kind of of the impression that he well, didn't they're, actually they're all, have the... They're all children. Oh, they're just, just they humans, children, I guess. Children, but they were, yeah, they were definitely humans. I was just under the impression that, like, he wouldn't actually do it for some reason. And it was just, like, him trying... Like... Oh, he... No, that's, that's part of the reason that they broke up. She, he did it, like, six times, but didn't have the balls to do it the final time. And she left him before the, the six, I think. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh, God. I forgot about this song. I love this song. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... What do I do again? I do I talk to her, or...? Uh, yeah, you basically have to talk to her and intentionally let her hurt you. Because she will not kill you. Right. It gets to the point to where you can't get her attacks to hit you, right? Yeah. Pyro opening weapon is weird. They have some weird um, firebug weapons in Killing Floor 2. Yeah, very jury rigged. One of them's called like a microwave something something. I don't know what it is. It's it's some crazy weapon. And guys just do, uh, they take more damage as they're burning, right? Yeah, I mean, there's fire tick damage and all that. I don't think it's as, as effective in that game as it is in the first one, though. Fair. But Pyros are still pretty good in this. Toriel is acting aloof. Do I flee, or do I, do I keep sparing her? I forget. You can't flee. Or if you do flee, you just walk back upstairs. Oh, okay. Dragon's Breath Shotgun. That actually sounds badass. That wasn't the first game. It was called a trench gun in the first game, but, uh... There we go. Okay, I think I did it. I have the Mac 10 being pretty good, too. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Oh, you got her to give up? Yeah. God, this... It's so depressing. Well, yeah, because, I mean, you can tell that she really... She does just actually care. Like, she's not trying to be horrible. She's just, you know... 
She believes authentically that you will die if you leave, so why would she let you leave? I cannot save even a single child. I mean, I think the fact that she's such a tragic character really helps. I'm gonna fix this, don't worry. <laughs> Just give me time, I'll fix it. When you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, I'm sure it will. We'll see each other again. If I if I do this right. <laughs> if I don't, it'll all be fine if you do it right. Yeah. If I don't do it right, I just will never be able to sleep again. Yeah, the fire revolvers are not quite as good in this one. Revolver or shotgun? Revolvers. Oh, the flare guns. Yeah, I didn't think they were. They were a little OP in the first game. And by a little, I mean a lot. Just a bit. You could technically stun Scrakes with them as a firebug. Because they could fire quick enough and they would cause Scrakes to flinch. So you could just, uh... Hmm. Keep... You could just spam, like, two clips into them. Well, one clip from each gun. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time, but what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die, until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration, or will you give up entirely on this world, and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Does he do this normally? This, this talk? Yeah. He does give you more of a talk if you go pacifist, because pacifist is proving that he was wrong to some degree. Like, yeah, but I, I didn't get this little speech right here, though, the first time I did it. But then again, I killed her the first yeah, time. Yeah, I think you... Yeah, you only get this speech if you basically went pacifist. So the game kind of already gets an idea of what you're trying to do ahead of time. Yeah. It can, right. it can, I mean, it certainly can tell. I mean, if you go to the... Tr I mean, not killing Toriel is not particularly easy, so I think it count, takes that as a, a sign of what you're going to try. I'd say a majority of people probably end up uh, killing her, you know, accidentally, just because oh, they yeah. don't know. You did. It's fucking I did. to make it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was... I knew that it was possible to not kill anybody, and I accidentally killed her. Sans is stalking me. <laughs> Doesn't he get me with a whoopee cushion or something? Yep, I think so. Turn around and shake my hand. Oh, is it a hand buzzer? I forget which one it is. No, I think it's a whoopee cushion. The old right, whoopee cushion the in the hand. Into there. I'm Sans. I don't care about capturing anybody. My brother's crazy, though. Sans? Have you seen a human, Sans? I just... <laughs> I give him the Skeletor <laughs> voice from He-Man. Because it's the correct voice. <laughs> you chose poorly. I'm kind of spamming through the dialogue because I know I've already read it once and when I beat it, so I'm just, you know, I don't want to really... Yeah, you'll you'll get some unique dialogue here and there, but you'll probably recognize it. For the most part, I can I, I can tell what's probably going to be the same the first time through. Yeah. I think the only part I'm not looking forward to, just non, non-fighting-wise, is that the only part of the game that actually got a little annoying for me was the, uh... The area where you're, like, in the lava place and you have to, like, walk onto those platforms that, like shoot you across to other platforms, you know? Yeah. That one was a little tricky. Eh, yeah, hopefully it won't be too bad for you. Alright, actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? Uh, yeah, 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 tolerate. 
Tolerate Papyrus, got it. Okay. Once again, heartfelt music that'll bring a tear to your eye. Use the box. Tough glove. I forget what that. What, what is that? Does that just give me more health? Yeah. Item. Tough glove. Uh, no, no. Info. Tough glove. Weapon attack five. A worn pink leather glove for five fingered folk. Oh, so it just umps my attack. Well, there's no point in having it then, I guess. Yeah, you event. I mean, almost all weapons are basically useless on this road, and actually potentially even harmful. But I think there are like a few exceptions, mostly in the area of armor. There's a few different armors that would normally not really matter, but can make uh, the mercy run a lot easier. Right. Yeah. Oh, I chose the absolute <laughs> wrong place to hide. I should do voices this entire let's play just to be stupid about it. I'd appreciate it. So, as I was saying about Undyne. <laughs> and then they just do the whole thing where they look at each other and at me for a million times. <laughs> <laughs> They're spinning in circles. Uh, Sans, oh my god. It's good for you, man. Kind of satisfying uh, to shoot a clown in the chest like that and have it just fall over on fire. I think that's a rock. Hey, what's that in front of a rock? Oh my god, he's under human! Oh my god, Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will, I'm gonna... I'll be so popular! <laughs> Do you ship us, Sans? Uh, that little animation. <laughs> he's talking about Undyne, oh, yeah. he's just like, Do you, sh Do you ship us, Sans? And he's just like, uh... <laughs> We're not commenting on that. Isn't it pretty much? Is, isn't it kind of implied that it's at Undyne and and uh, what's her name are like a couple? Uh, Alphys. Alphys, yeah. Oh, it's absolutely hundred percent confirmed. I mean, in game. Oh, is it? Oh. I mean, they. Yeah, if you get the true pacifist ending, they actually go into some real detail on it. Oh, uh, okay, I can't spare this boss. Not a boss, but the doggo, apparently. Yeah, you can. Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. I think, honestly, you, have to, you do not have to fight this one. You can figure it out. Yeah, you well, may have to, um... <laughs> if you don't move, he can't hurt you when he, atta when he attacks. Yeah. <laughs> Hobbies include squirrels. <laughs> you pet doggo. What? I've been pet. I have been pet. Pet, pat, pot, pet, pat, pet, pot, pet. <laughs> something pet me, something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. You know, at least I this boss. time I I'm Hans Fulton. Oh, you have you haven't done Hans before? No. Nope. Actually yeah, you just got the game, that's right, I forgot. He's angry German, dude. Hmm. I bet I have to go this way, actually. Lesser dog. Okay, see, I think if it gives me the option to flee, I can flee every time. But if I... I think so, yeah. What happens about... Uh, uh, something about this snowman, I forget. Hello, I am snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would, take a piece of me and bring it oh, very geez, far right. away. He grabbed me. Thank you. Good luck. You got, got the snowman piece. Out of curiosity, do you remember why I'm supposed to take the snowman piece? Uh, kind of, I think. Where? It's not. It's it's a long ways off, I think. Ah, okay. You were napping all night long. I think that's called sleeping. <laughs> In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, the orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. 
Okay, you can go ahead now. <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. I love how he throws it and it just lands on my head. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother Sans. You will be surely you will surely be confounded. I know I am. I do love that he has to like walk across the maze and let you just walk right behind him through that whole <laughs> puzzle. It's so stupid but kind of funny. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see bet that few weeks ago for a costume party? Oh yeah, he been yeah, he won't take off the the suit. Oh yeah. That he's been wearing forever. Until he puts on the basketball outfit. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, this guy's selling Oh, snow cones or something? Nice cream. Which you can get as like a health restoring item. I'll buy one for him. From him. I forget, do I have to actually roll this snowball up and get it somewhere, or is that just a... I think I remember that not being useful at all when I did There are a few, like, puzzles like that kind of hidden around the game, but you don't have to do any of them. I didn't think and so. if you're just trying to get to the end, I think you could probably skip most of them. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. <laughs> Kids crossword puzzle. The junior jumble. You can't actually do anything with it, as far as I know. You, <laughs> it just gives me the option to read it, and that's it. Sans, that didn't do anything! <laughs> I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. We're up to crossword. I can't believe you said that, in my opinion. Junior jumble is easily the hardest. Is easily the hardest. <laughs> really, dude? That's easy peasy word scramble? Uh, <laughs> that's for baby bronze. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Jumble, crossword. Does it matter which one I pick? Does that affect anything at all? Not really. You get a, a different reaction, but I think it doesn't have any long-term impacts. You two are weird. <laughs> Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just filled all the boxes with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, <laughs> all I can do is snore. <laughs> I love him as a character. Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day fi find a way to eat up, to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Kills you with determination. Oh shit! That okay. is probably the the line I have hooked on more in the, most in the series. That whole it fills you with determination one. Oh, this is the wrong way. I love how your, when you flee, your little heart icon just grows a pair of legs, just walks off the side of the screen. The, the Grim Reaper dogs. I forgot about them. What's that smell? If you're a smell, oh God. These identify are the ones I think is like the saddest, the saddest thing in the game if you actually kill them. Oh, because the one like, of them gets you, really you depressed you when you kill the other one? Yeah, and then later on you actually find like where they were missing at the end and stuff like that. Aww. Lemonade yeah, you! Cool. Doji assault you. Dogi. Oh, they're, ki they're, they're kissing. <laughs> Re-sniff. The dogs sniff you again, but you smell just as weird as before. <laughs> smell mystery. Oh god. Ow. Okay. The dogs are reevaluating your smell. Well, obviously I need to roll around. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. 
Number two, Nuzzle Chips, 98. Of course, we were second. <laughs> Ah, fudge, okay. The dogs may want to re-smell you now. The dogs sniff you again Jesus, you after rolling in the dirt. What about it? I'm just fucking plowing through people with it. Oh yeah, it's... Wait till you level it up. It's insane. I don't even have a good weapon yet. Only problem is, like, some of these guys are a little bit harder to get close to than others. Like the bile ones. Also, aim seems surprisingly important. Wow, pet by another pup. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna fucking die. Okay, I need to I need to eat a butterscotch pie. Ah oh, shit. Huh, I get a nail gun? Ugh. Uh, uh. There we go. I got by him finally. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Yes, I am a weird puppy. What's this? Turn <laughs> every X into an O, then press the switch. Do I have to do that, or can I just... Oh, I have to, okay. Um, like, Can I push these blocks or something? I like the announcer on this airship map. Turn every X into an O. Oh, you just... Touch stuff. Ah, fudge. All right. Are you on the airship? Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah, I've done that one. That one is. I, that's the same. I think that's the same guy that does a uh, Lockhart in uh, the Steamland objective mode in the first game. I think. Huh. I think. How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Ate it, left it. Ate it. Really? Wowee! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> hmm. uh, this game is silly. My brother He's started a sock collection though. recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Okay, what's this one? Human, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is worry not, human. I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. <laughs> Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Uh, okay, I think I know what to do here. Oh, there's three different versions of... Oh, you can just... Well, that's kind of broken. <laughs> you can just do that. Oh, what? Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Oh, they, they all have to be O's, okay. You can make them triangles, and I thought maybe that was like a, a broken game mechanic or something. Okay, I'm actually finding the melee a little harder now, for some reason.
weird. I don't I don't remember all these puzzles for some reason. I remember the crossword one. He blocked them all out. So what's your recommendation for playing Berserk if you're trying to kill a flesh pound? Hitting it and running, but that's how it was in the first game. I don't think it's like that in the second one. Well, finally killed one. Man, that was tricky. <sighs> Not red, not yellow. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on one of them, you'll have to fight a monster. Orange, so not not red, not yellow, not green. You remember this one, right? The piranhas will bite you. The blue tiles next to a yellow tile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. I can't do this. Whatever. You remember this puzzle, don't you? Yeah, I remember not getting far on it. No, I think you'll do fine. I have faith in you. Does it end up being a straight line? Maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and he just rolls out of the screen. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll, be, he'll even make something edible. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Okay. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Oops. <laughs> oh. I think you're going to be fighting the big dog soon. If I can figure out this puzzle, maybe. Um, I swear, I do not remember. Hmm. I, I swear, I don't remember doing this. Uh, Which one? The one where you have to, well... Ah, fudge. If, okay, I think I figured it out. It's basically just walking out a bunch of tiles, but you can't go too far or you'll... Uh, Okay, apparently you can't go up right there. What I can tell. Maybe you have to go all the way across first. Yeah, okay. I was making this harder than it had to be. It is hard to avoid that sometimes. Woof. What a tiny doghouse. That's not a snowball, that's a dog. Oh, wait a minute, doesn't it like end up being huge? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you get the Timmy song. Well, kind of. Yeah, this one I... You, you must have gotten this one, the petting thing. Yeah. Pet, beckon, ignore, play. Crater Dog is not excited enough to play with. Well, oh, crap. Oh, God. Okay. Beckon. You call the Crater Dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited.
Oh no, I accidentally ate the snowman piece. Shit. <laughs> well, it's probably not important. Yeah, well, wait, that's not too bad. I didn't mean to. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I obviously need to go to the right. That doesn't affect the true pacifist ending, does it? Actually, yeah, it does. You're done. <laughs> you make a snowball and Damn throw it. it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Great dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Greater dog wants some TLC. <laughs> pet. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow. But you still haven't pet enough. Pet capacity is 40%. God damn it. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its, hind with its legs hanging in the air. Greater dog is contented. You won! Yay! <laughs> it gets back into the suit backwards and walks off. <laughs> Yo, man! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! I love how there's a there's a dog on a string just hanging down at the end. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannon will fire. Spikes will swing. Blades will slice. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. It doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human one. <laughs> yes, we can't use this one. Aww. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. My traps are expertly cooked. But with this method, but this method is too direct. No class at all. Good excuse. Okay, Berserker's not my style. I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Aren't the blue ones the ones you can just sit still? Yeah, you just have to not do anything. Hey, Snowden! God, I remember this little happy tune as well. Yeah, that's one of the ones that really stuck with me. Manly bandana for 50 gold. That would help with my... Um, Taking less damage can be useful if you didn't intend to fight a bit. Well, it's not that I intend to fight, it's just that I'm... Sometimes I get hit while Plenty I'm trying to... to yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's try Demolitionist. Oh, whoops. <laughs> do, 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 Um, manly bandana use. You equipped a manly bandana. Yay. Okay, so is there anything in Snowden that I need to do right now that I have to make sure I do? I don't think so. 80G to stay one night in the hotel. Ugh. Yeah, you don't really have to, I don't think. Hey, it's what's his name? The, the kid that like is like a ghost and some of the runs. Let's see. 
This grenade pistol is not that great. Let's play monsters and humans. Yeah, that wolf there is one I... I remember getting really into trying to figure out what the hell you do with him, and there's just nothing to do. It's locked. Okay. Just gonna keep on going, I guess. Yeah? Well, actually, I think I'll pause right here for this second ugh, segment. Um...